Hi guys, this is Marshall here and I'm super excited about covering the cortisol detox with you. Either we've done it together or we may not have done it and either ways it's fine. It's a good refresher. Uh, cortisol detox is a way to get rid of tightness in your body, to get rid of stress maybe before sleeping. All you need is a heavy cricket tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and you also need a hard chair without a cushion and that's pretty much it so what we're going to do is there's three versions uh, of cortisol detox uh, depending on the time you have available say if you only have five minutes before uh, sleeping so usually i don't exactly do cortisol detox before sleeping i pretty much have a bath in the night and I have my dinner and then I sleep. I usually do my cortisol detox before I have a bath because it does increase blood circulation that may cause your body to uh, warm up a little bit but there's nothing wrong with doing it before sleeping. Either way it works. You can do it anytime. You, will, you can even do it in the morning after waking up or any time of the day. So now let's get started with the five minutes version of cortisol detox. So basically what we're going to do is you're going to act as our own massage therapist. Uh, I'm going to use the wall as a point of support and the ball is going to be between me and the wall. Uh, in the five minutes version of cortisol detox, what we're going to do is we're going to fi focus on three points of the neck. We will never do anything directly on the spine. We will always focus on the pressure points on the left and on the right side of the spine. So in the very beginning, the five minutes version, we're going to focus on three points of the neck where there's a lot of stress that's stored. One is right here. There's these two, uh, you know, bones here at the base of the skull, just below the bone on the left and on the right side where the uh, neck starts. That is the first point. It is the origin of the parasympathetic nervous system. That's where a lot of stress is stored. So let me target on the left side of my neck and I will show you right now how I'm going to target that. So I'm going to keep the ball on, on the wall and I'm going to put the left side of my neck on it and I'm going to use the wall as a pressure point. Now if I want to increase the pressure I can angle my body and take my legs away from the wall that will increase the pressure I can angle my body to 135 degrees if I want to reduce the pressure I can keep my legs closer to the wall so it all depends on how much pressure you want I personally put a lot of pressure so as soon as you find the point that's tight and it's painful just press and hold uh, ideally you want to press and hold for one to two minutes until the tightness goes away but in this video I'm just gonna press and hold for 10 to 15 seconds so that it doesn't become too long uh, or depending on the time you have available so that's the first point the second point is on the neck itself but it is on the middle part of the neck parallel to the L4 vertebrae so it's right in the middle of the neck on the left side still um, so how do I find that point out it's a little bit trickier but not that tricky all I need to do is put the ball on the base of my neck right on the left side and just roll with it as I roll I'm going to find a point in the middle of the neck that's really tight and this is all on the left side not on the spine so I'm going to press and hold ouch yeah so you're going to feel that and what's the third point the third point is on the base of the neck where the neck connects to the shoulder but still on the neck you don't want to attack the trapezius yet so what am I going to do? I'm going to keep the ball again on the wall and right on the left side of the neck I'm going to press and hold where it connects to the shoulders. 
right? But we're going to stay on the neck for now. So that is the left side of the neck, right? Now we're going to do the same thing for the right side. So let me show you maybe a different angle. So I'm pressing and holding on the right side. The top view is this. As you can see, it's not directly on my spine. It's a little bit to the right. Not sure if you saw that, right? And then the second point is I roll the ball vertically up and boom, I find the point parallel to the L4 vertebrae which really hurts. So I press and hold there or if it's usually stiff for most people. Um, so you want to get rid of the stress from there. Obviously you want to hold for two to three minutes if you can, but start slowly and then build up. And the third is where my neck connects to the shoulder. Right? So once you complete that, what you will notice is your if you've done it right, your neck will feel like it's longer than before, literally. And uh, you'll feel like somebody's taken your neck and stretched it out, elongated it. Now, if you have a lot of belly fat, you cannot do these two points. Uh, but if you have lost uh, quite a lot of belly fat, then the adrenal glands is where all the stress in the body is stored. Uh, they are directly below the rib cage. There's two of them, really small ones, just like kidney, but so there's two of them, they act like a pair and they're just below the rib cage. So I, I'm going to pressure them. So how, how do we find out these adrenal glands? If you don't have belly fat, you can just try this. This is the midsection of my torso, right? So I'm going to start on the, say, the, the right and I'm going to start with my ribs. And I'm going to keep tracing the ball down until I go just below the ribs. Once I go below the ribs, I'm going to go a little bit lower until I find a pressure point where if I press, I feel like somebody's choking me literally. Like you'll feel the pressure in your, in your uh, neck. So I'm going to use the wall again. So I'll start as I mentioned, like on the right side where my ribs are already there and then I'm gonna trace the ball a little bit lower my ribs are still there I'm gonna go a little bit lower I'm gonna go a little bit lower and a little bit lower so now I've gone beyond my ribs and just go a little bit lower searching for that oh my god that point if you find it here yeah, it's really um, that's where all, all the stress is stored oh, of the adrenal gland now you can Hold it um, as long as you wish to hold it, it's up to you. Huh. But obviously, the longer the better. And then, what you do is this is the right side, just go to the same uh, height on the left side, and oh god, and then you just press and hold it. And, uh, as long as you wish to. Okay. So that is the 5 minutes version of cortisol detox.